We have a really large component of our showrooms that are owned by locals, and so they're here every day. This is how they make their livelihood and pay their 401k and their children's college tuition. So they're very vested in their business, but it also makes them very agile. So as the market change, they can change up their lines. They can change up how they present those lines. This whole building is a million and a half square feet. We just have the first third, which is 550,000 feet, that's the design center. But the whole building was built in 1917 by the government as a munitions plant. In this industry, there's always been a conversation about our design center's dinosaurs. And I will always say, the minute that you walk in this building, you realize that if you're going to spend a large amount of money on a luxury furniture item, you want to sit on it. You want to touch it. You want to feel the fabric, the hand of the fabric, and see how that feels to you and experience it versus clicking and buying it. We have 81 individual showrooms. We have probably 1,300 luxury brands and lines here represented by the showrooms. Almost every product in here you can customize. We offer a lot of customized um, furniture pieces that you don't see and they are unique. One of the things that we've really embraced in the last year or so is a lot of social media. People are more into interior design and designing their homes. We're constantly in touch with our core clients, which are designers and architects, but we also have a way to talk to consumers because they need to know the product that we have here. In fact, this is really a core part of the Boston design community. 25 of the top 50 design firms and architect firms are right within two and a half miles. Even kids understand. Um, they'll run down the halls and they used to dibs which showrooms was going to be their home. So even kids know what great stuff we have here.